Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Camilla. Today, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful granny square. It is basic, but it's very useful. It can be used in many projects. Make a magic ring. Turn three. One, two, three. This chain three is counted as one double crochet. Then, two double crochet into the ring. Yarn over, go into the ring. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Another one, yarn over, go into the ring. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Turn three. One, two, three. Three more double crochet stitches into the ring. Yarn over, go into the ring. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the ring. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over, go into the ring. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Turn three. One, two, three. Then we're going to make Another three double crochet stitches. Yarn over, go into the ring. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the ring. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the ring. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Tighten up the ring a little bit. Turn three. Another three double crochet stitches. Yarn over, go into the ring. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the ring. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the ring. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over. Pull through two. Then turn one. We are going to do a half double crochet stitches. So yarn over. Find the third chain. So you see the V stitch. One, two, three. It's easier if you're counting back. So that's one, two. We are doing half double crochet. Yarn over, go into the third stitch. So it's the st second turn if you're counting back. Yarn over, then yarn over again, pull through three.
This is long one ready. Round two. Turn three. One, two, three. Two double crochet stitches into the same corner space. Yarn over. Go into the corner space. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Another one. Yarn over, go into the corner space. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. We're going to put three double crochet stitches, turn three, and three double crochet stitches into this turn three corner. Yarn over, go into the turn three space. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over. Go into the space. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Another one. Yarn over. Go into the space. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Turn three, one. Two, three. We are going to put another three double crochet stitches into the same space. Yarn over. Go into the space. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over. Go into the space. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the space. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Then we're going to make another chain three, three double crochet. Turn three and three double crochet stitches into this corner space. So three double crochet stitches. Yarn over. That's one. That's two. Three. Let's turn three. Go into the same space. One. Two. Three. Then you need to move to the next corner. One. Two. Three. Then, turn one, turn two, 
Chuan three. We need to put another three double crochet stitches into this same corner space. Then we're going to put three double crochet stitches into this starting corner space. Then we train three, one, two, three. Find the third stitch, slip stitch into it. So again, if you come back, it's the second chain. And you can turn one for more secure. Round three. Black color is hard to be seen in the video, so we use brown color instead. Make a slip knot. Attach yarn to the end of the corner space. Turn three. Two more double crochet into the same space. We're going to put three double crochet stitches into this needle space. One. Two. Three. Then three double crochets, turn three and three double crochet stitches all into this corner space. One, two, three. Turn three, three more double crochet stitches. One, two, We're going to repeat the pattern. So three double crochets, one, two, three. 
then three double crochets, turn three and three double crochet stitches. One. Two. And turn three, another three double crochet stitches. One, two. Then three double crochet stitches. One, two, three. Then we are in a corner space. So that is three double crochets, turn three, and three more double crochet stitches. One, two, three. Then turn three, three more double crochet stitches. Three double crochet stitches. We are in the first corner. So we put three double crochet stitches. One, two, three. Now we turn three, one, two, three. Then slip stitch into the third chain. So it's the second chain if you come back. We can turn one for more skill. It's now three. Now four. Change to white color. Make a slip knot. Attach yarn into the corner space. Turn three. Two double crochet stitches. Now 
then three double crochet stitches into this space. Then three double crochet stitches into the next space. One, two, three. Then three double crochet stitches. One. Two, three, chain three, three double crochet stitches. Then three double crochet stitches. One, two, three. Again, three double crochet stitches. One. Two, three. Then we are in this corner space again. So three double crochet stitches. One, two, three. Chain three. And then another three double crochet stitches. One, two, three. Repeat this pattern across. I will meet you at the end. We are at the end of long four. Chain three, slip stitch into the third chain. Again, if you're counting back, it's the second chain. Slip stitch, chain one for more skewer. This is long four. Down five, make a slip knot, attach to any of the corner space, chain three, two double crochet. Three double crochet into the space. Three double crochet into this space. Three double crochet again. Three 
in three double crochet one cool three chain three and another three double crochet into my same space. Oh, you can see we are just repeating the pattern before. Continue with this pattern. I will meet you at the end of the round. We are at the end of round five. Turn three. Slip stitch into the third turn. We are going to do a little bit different this time. Pull up the loop. Find the third turn. Second turn if you are counting back. But we Go from the back, slip stitch, turn one for more skewer. That is our granny square. Now we're going to weave in all the ends. There is no particular rule about it. You just hide in all the ends. Continue on with in all the ends. We have finished this project. Thank you very much for watching.